Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Hogwarts Legacy tutorial video. Today we're going to be going over two things. The first one being how to find and use the Dedalian keys in order to get house tokens, as well as how to pick locks, as when you're going through Hogwarts, you'll find various doors that do seem to be locked, and you have to pick those locks in order to get through them. At the bottom of the screen on the timeline of the video or in the description below we'll have the timestamps for each of these uh sections so definitely check that out to see you know whichever part of the video you're looking for otherwise let's go ahead and jump straight on in all right so let's start with the dedalian keys so in order to start this quest you need to talk to a student named nelly ogspire and she is near the courtyard area the transfiguration courtyard area overall what will happen is she will tell you about the keys that are needed in order to go ahead and find these house tokens and whatnot which you take back to your house in order to put them in your chest to unlock a reward and that reward is unlocked after all 16 are achieved as you're wandering around the map you will hear like kind of a fluttering sound and you will see gold sparkles flying through the air the idea is you follow those keys over to a lock and basically what will happen is when you interact with it the key will kind of move around a little bit and every now and again it will cross over the keyhole what you have to do is you have to press x uh, or a depending on what the console you're using in order to slap the key into the keyhole and from there you receive your house token and like i said you take that back to your house whether it be gryffindor slytherin whatever and then after you get all 16 you do get a reward now let's go ahead and jump into how to unlock some of the locked doors within Hogwarts. So for this, overall, what you'll need to do is unlock the Alahomora spell. You get this spell during the Caretaker's Lunar Lament quest, and basically you'll need to find some moon guises and bring them back to a professor in order to get taught this spell. Once you learn the spell, you can go ahead and then from there start to pick the locks that you find throughout Hogwarts. And this will be used actually during the mission. However, it doesn't really say what you need to do in order to make the locks unlock. So basically what you'll want to do is get the red and green light dots into the right position or the light slots on the uh, lock. And then from there, it will start to spin and light up on the right side you will see two gears and again when the uh, lights are in their right slots those gears will start to light up and turn so again get them in the right slots and then slowly start to just rotate the lock in either direction until you see both spinning on the right side there there is also a vibration that you can feel within your controller that will kind of give you an idea of whether or not you're close. And so the stronger the vibration, as well as, like I said, the lights or the turning of the gears on the right side is how you know whether you're doing it correct or not. Once you have the gears turning and whatnot, just let it go ahead and spin for a little bit longer or get it up to a faster speed if necessary. And then you should be all good to enter through the uh, lock picked door. Okay, and I hope that helps some of you guys. Definitely let us know how you guys are enjoying Hogwarts Legacy so far. Uh, my brother Jason and I are going to be doing a couple different reviews on this game, kind of going over the pros and the cons. We're going to do that over on our main channel where we do all of our reviews. So check that out over at Smoke and Sessions. Link is in the description. Otherwise, you can follow us on any of our other socials down in the description, as well as you can uh, watch any of our Let's Plays over on our channel or check out any of our other tutorials all right guys well i'll see you all in the next one